I'm back again tonight because um, we only have about 24 hours left until Painters Clubhouse closes and I don't want any of you guys to miss out. So um, painting again tonight. We're going to be painting a Christmas sloth door hanger and I know you guys are probably like, wait, what? What'd she say? Did she just say Christmas and sloth in the same sentence? Yes, I did. <laughs> Um, as you guys know, sloths are super popular right now. Like, it's a trend. It's a whole thing. I don't know. Do any of you guys have kids that are, like, fascinated by sloths? I don't get it, personally. I don't, don't understand it. But, you know, whatever. Whatever the people want, that's what we will paint. So, if somebody wants a sloth door hanger for Christmas. <laughs> Hi, Debbie from Indiana. Jessica says, I'm excited. Sloths are my favorite. Okay, explain to me, Jessica, why are sloths people's favorite? Like, why are people loving sloths? They're not, like, super cuddly and soft. Like, if something's really soft, like a kitten, don't get me wrong, or a puppy. Like, I love to hold and pet on puppies. But sloths are, like, they got mold growing on them. And this one's hanging from a candy cane. So he's kind of upside down. You might think he's supposed to go like this or like this, like he's riding it. But really... He's hanging from it. Hi, Shannon and Trisha and Lynn. You're obsessed with sloths. Uh, <laughs> I've got to understand. I really just don't understand why they're so um, fascinating. Oh, Emily says her son's preschool class is a sloth theme. And you're giving this design as a gift to the teacher. Well, that's perfect then. I just don't understand, I guess. <laughs> I love llamas. I mean, I know those are super trendy. I've got some sawdust on this. I know those are super trendy, and I do think those are super cute, and they look soft, but I don't know. I don't get the sloth thing. Hey, Mom. My mom is on here. Hey, Sue. Okay, so um, before we get started, actually, I'll save that till we're waiting for paint to dry. I was going to read a, a read something to you guys that somebody sent to me, but we'll save that until we get some some paint going on here because I know we're going to have to wait for some paint to dry at some point and then I'll read to you guys. Okay, Whitney loves sloths. This should be interesting. Exactly. It's a sloth and a candy cane. So we're just going to start by painting our candy cane completely white. Um, this is one of our etched door hanger blanks. All, uh, not, okay, I can't say all. A lot, almost all, of our door hanger blanks now come in the option of blank or etched. And so etched just means that it has these little lines on it that have like guidelines for where to paint things. So if this was not etched, you wouldn't have any of this on his little face and it would just be blank and you would have to figure out where the eyes go and all of that. But because it is etched, it makes it so much easier because I don't have to draw anything. I can just start painting and just stay inside the lines. Is that not fantastic? It's like paint by number. Um, let's see. Bessie says, if someone would order an owl door hanger, how much would it be? If you mean a blank, uh, the 20 inch blanks are probably between 20 and $24. Um, I'm not selling any owl door hangers painted at this time though. I have a very limited selection of what you can get painted from me. Um, and those are all on the website in a special collection. Heidi says he's cute. I hope so. I hope he turns out really cute. I think he'll be cute, but I don't know if you look cuddly. We'll see. So, so far we have had 383 people, I think, join Painters Clubhouse. Is that not fantastic? Um, we are so excited to be wel welcoming all these ladies, and you should hear the buzz inside the clubhouse. It's like a bunch of excited little chickens. Everybody's so excited. Everybody's sharing pictures and asking questions already and hooking, um, hooking up with people that they live close to. That sounds really bad. That's not what I meant. Um, they are like connecting, connecting with people they live near. Um, so it's really cool. And actually, a few members of our clubhouse got together uh, either, I don't know if it was tonight or last night. I saw it on Instagram and I shared it over to my stories if y'all want to see it. Um, some of the girls in the clubhouse got together on, a, on their own Zoom call and did their own Zoom paint party. So I've talked before on here about our roundtable paint nights where we'd get together and all paint. And I'm thinking maybe we should just change the name of that to Zoom Paint Parties because that sounds like so much more fun. Um, let's see. You and the chicken reference. <laughs> did I miss something? I didn't say anything about chickens. Did I? I don't know. Um, but anyways. So, if you haven't joined Painters Clubhouse yet, you only have two days left, which technically results to about 24 hours. It closes tomorrow night at midnight central time. 
um, and it will not reopen until spring 2020. So if you have been watching my videos and feeling like, oh my goodness, her stuff is all so cute. She makes it all look so easy. I just wish I could do that. Well, guess what? You can do it. You may not know it yet, but you can. And I want to help you learn how. So if you want to learn and possibly start making a little bit of extra money for your family or your business, Painters Clubhouse is the perfect place to start. Because we take you from beginner painter, even if you haven't painted one single door hanger before, to experienced, uh, confident painter. We don't say like professional or artist because a lot of us are uncomfortable wearing those kind of titles. But um, we do want you to be confident in whatever you paint. All right, I got a picture over here that I'm referencing so that I remember what's supposed to be what because I get to talking and sometimes I paint stuff the wrong color. So let me paint his little hat. He's got some little white areas on his hat. And then we'll switch colors. So Painters Clubhouse is $37 a month and we teach you how to paint two door hangers every single month in that group. Um, I shared, I don't know if I did share it this afternoon, I think I did, um, a picture of what we're gonna be painting next month. It is a cute little reindeer wrapped in Christmas lights. It is adorable. So if you haven't um, seen that, go back and watch the video that I did earlier today because I showed it on there. Um, did, you guys, did you guys see what I painted earlier today? Let me pull it out and show you, it's right here. This is what we painted this afternoon while Charlie was taking a nap. And I gave some amazing, like if I do say so myself, <laughs> some amazing hand lettering tips that are gonna really help you. Uh, I painted all of this by hand. We drew it out with chalk first and we tweaked a few things and then we actually painted it with a paintbrush. And I showed you exactly how to use the paintbrush. Actually, we used two paintbrushes to achieve this type of hand lettering. And I know it's backwards. Somebody asked earlier, can you flip the camera? And I was like, I wish I could, but Facebook um, has been glitching and for some reason it will not let me flip the camera to where it's not backwards. I apologize. So even the lettering on my shirt is backwards. Hello, Jessica from Texas. You took a leap and asked your dad to show you how to use the jigsaw. Oh, my daddy taught me how to use a jigsaw too. How cool. Okay, Susan says, what do you get for $37? So you get access to a private Facebook... I forgot to bring um, some water in here. Can you guys give me a second? I can't rinse a brush without water. Okay. okay. Can't keep 550 people waiting. <laughs> okay. Um, so for $37 a month, you get access to a private Facebook group where we do um, tutorials and we share pictures and um, we do like live tutorials and stuff like that. And you get access to our membership site. On the membership site is a beginner's course where we take you through the very basics, like how to cut your door hanger with a jigsaw or a scroll saw. We have two different tutorials. Um, how to paint a door hanger. We have two tutorials in the beginner's course. And then how to do hand lettering um, with like a stencil or graphite paper. If you just want to print some cute font off on your printer, we show you how to do that. And then um, we show you how to make a bow, how to hang your door hanger, all of that good stuff. And then after you complete the beginner's course, you're gonna to want to start on the tutorials for September if you want. Um, you don't have to though. You can hop around and do it in, in, in any order you like. Or you can just binge watch it all and not do a thing. Um, the September tutorials were, were the cotton milk jug. I shared it on Instagram if you guys haven't seen it and here on Facebook, I believe. And um, a cute little fall banner that has sunflowers on it. It was taught by a guest painter named Melissa Howington. So each month we have a guest painter that comes into the group and it's different every single month. And um, I just love to bring different people in because they always have a different perspective to share. Um, they might try something, do something completely different than how I would do it. And so I learned something from that and so do you. And so it's always fun to have guest painters coming in. We do that every single month. And um, we also get on Zoom twice a month and we do a Zoom call together where we paint live together or sometimes we just sit around and chat. It just depends on what you're in the mood for. I've got a piece of, it was like part of the, the chipping off part of my brush and I couldn't get it to come off of there. Okay. So um, yeah, we hop on Zoom twice a month and we chat together and it's just so much fun. It's a great time to ask questions or just to... Um, kind of show and tell. We do a little bit of show and tell showing what we've been painting and what we're working on and of course then that always results in how'd you do this and how did you do that and we pick up so many great nuggets during those Zoom calls. Um, 
Somebody said, never mind, it's a sloth. Okay, let me hold it up real quick. It's a sloth hanging on a candy cane. Oh, shoot. I forgot to turn on my time lapse video. Let me get this pumpkin out of the way. I don't want it in the video. I always try to make a time lapse video every time I paint, and I forgot to turn it on. So, oh well. Okay, now let's paint the body of our sloth. Um, let's see, what color are we going to use? I think it's going to be like a brown, like regular brown and then a light brown, but I may have to mix a color to get what I want. Thank you, Jennifer. She says it's cute. Can you talk about how to advertise our paint business in the clubhouse? Um, Melissa, I don't actively teach any business in the Painters Clubhouse, but uh, there is always some kind of conversation going on amongst the members, and a lot of times it's business related, and so, um, you can always pick up some great tips in there, or you can just straight up ask for advice, and people will all pitch in, myself included. I will come in the comments and, like, give you tips or advice on whatever I think on whatever you're asking. But I don't like have trainings on business. Does that make sense? So we talk about it a little bit in like the comment section or during our Zoom calls, but we don't actually have trainings about business. Um, oh no, Glenda says I'm still not able to get into the clubhouse painting. That's okay. We're going to have it worked out by this weekend. Um, we've had to manually add a lot of people because the website was glitching on the first day when we had like 300 people join. And so we've been having to manually create accounts for them, which is terrible. And inconvenient but it will all get done and everybody will have access Glenda if you're not in it yet go get in the Facebook group um, just search Facebook for painters clubhouse and I'm sure it will will pop up in the group section okay so I made this color I really like this this is dark chocolate mixed with light buttermilk and it made this like really light creamy milk chocolate color instead of dark chocolate we made milk chocolate how about that Hello, Christy from Moody, Alabama. How cool. Erica said a lot of our Zoom party was talking shop and asking each other about business. You know what, Erica? That is um, so beneficial. I really wish that when I was doing paint parties years ago that I had had a group of women that I could just talk shop with because there was nobody that I could ask. Um, back then, nobody was sharing secrets. Nobody was teaching anybody how to paint. Nobody was, um, spill, everybody like kept their secrets, you know, and like you could ask somebody like, what kind of wood do you use? And nobody would tell you. They'd say, oh, that's proprietary information. I don't share that. And it's like, uh, I just need a little help here to get started, you know, and nobody would share information. So I cannot imagine how valuable that is, or I can imagine how valuable that must be to your businesses, Erica, and all of you guys who were in there because, I know how helpful it is to me when I go to um, a mastermind meeting. If you don't know what a mastermind meeting is, it's essentially a business meeting with people who are in a similar business type. So the masterminds that I have been to are all online business owners. Like we don't have a store necessarily or um, like a physical place you can come to and shop. We all have online businesses. And so we all experience very similar problems. And so it's very helpful for all of us to talk with each other. I'm gonna get a little bit more dark and blend it in here. It's helpful for all of us to share tips on how we you know, get customers and how we communicate with our customers and all of that sort of thing. So I'm so excited that you girls are taking advantage of uh, the Zoom app and using it inside the clubhouse to communicate with each other and learn from one another. It's going to really launch y'all's businesses further, faster. Okay, Kimberly says, how do I get in the Facebook group? I haven't received any emails with instruction. Kimberly, if we sent you an email, it probably went to your PayPal email, the email you use to log into PayPal, because that's the only email we have from you um, when you sign up. If you want to get into the Facebook group, just search, use the Facebook search bar at the top of your phone and type in Painters Clubhouse. It'll come right up. Do you paint the sides and the back? Um, I do whenever it is something that I have cut with a jigsaw, but this one was cut using a laser cutter, so I really kind of don't. Okay. Let me see what else is brown. We're, okay. I thought I was running out of paint, brown paint, but I wasn't. Okay. So to make things simpler, I'm just going to paint over his whole face, but... It's not. It's going to cover up these little lines, but you'll still be able to see them underneath the paint. So don't panic. It's all going to be okay. 
Tamara knows what she's doing. <laughs> Sometimes. Most of the time. Um, what was I going to talk about? Totally forgot. We were talking about the Zoom calls. So we do those twice a month. Um, and uh, we have two door hanger tutorials every single month. Um, all of this is laid out on the sales page. So if you um, get confused or don't know what I'm talking about, go over to paintersclubhouse.com or say the word. I forgot to tell you that. Say link and it will send it to your Facebook Messenger and you can check it out after the live is over. Um, and there's all your questions answered right there. It breaks it down for you exactly what you get every single month. That way you don't have to try to make heads or tails of what I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, I gotta wait for this to dry for just a second. So now I'm gonna read to you a message that someone sent me this afternoon and I thought it was so inspiring. You guys had to hear it. Um, and then we are gonna finish up this cute little, we're gonna make this a candy cane and do some really cute stuff. Okay, so this is from Beverly Hunter and she gave me permission to share this with you guys. Um, she said, I wanted to share my story about my disability with others and let them know that it has been therapeutic to learn to paint. I have an autoimmune disorder which causes me symptoms of rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis in my hands and most of my joints. I suffer from a daily amount of pain as my hands are crippling. I have... I think it says boutonniere. I don't know if that's how you say that word. Boutonniere deformity in my in both of my hands. My left hand has four silicone knuckle implants. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, and four of my fingers are fused with wires and pins around the bones. This has helped straighten my fingers, but not much. My right hand is severely crippled and curved in, literally to the point my pinky finger touches the lower palm of my hand and I can't straighten my fingers. Like if I was going to make a fist, if I make a fist, I can, but um, make a fist if I wanted to or let alone give someone a high five. So she can't even do that because her hands are crippled. Um, she said, I'm going to need reconstructive surgery at some point. I still find a way to manage using my hands. I'm a single mother to a 20-year-old son who is disabled, and I work full-time, and most of my job requires typing. I don't even know how she types if her hands are like that. My son suffers from epilepsy and has had multiple brain surgery. Telling me I can't do something is never an alternative. I love her um, attitude. I love watching Tamara paint. I tried, and I'm still learning, but I feel a sense of accomplishment. I participated in the Fall Door Hanger Challenge and I did better than I could have ever imagined. If you have disabilities, do not let that stop you from trying. Tamara is so very sweet and has been an inspiration, not to mention all of the wonderful members inside the Painters Clubhouse that uh, she said, join today and you'll be glad you did as you overcome a disability and gain a new talent in painting. So she wanted me to kind of like share that with you guys and inspire you all to um, not let something like that stop you. Because somebody had commented during my video, I think yesterday or this morning, and said, um, like, how do you stop your hands from shaking? Or how, what do you do if your hands shake? I can't imagine what I would do if my hands, if I, if I couldn't open my hand, you know, if I couldn't operate my hand like, like most people do. So um, I love that she said telling me I can't do something is um, not an option. There is, like, there's always an, a way around it. And so I love her attitude. But I wanted to share that with you guys. Okay. Someone says, what kind of brand or paint do you use? All of my paints, for the most part, are Deco Art Americana acrylic paint. That's my brand of choice. Yes, I love her outlook, Mona. She's uh, got a wonderful attitude, and she has joined our Painters Clubhouse, and I cannot wait to see how um, she grows and improves over the next few months, because it's going to be amazing to see. Okay, let's do some stripes on our candy cane, shall we? Okay, I'm just going to wing this as usual. Uh, sometimes I'm just kind of like not sure. I'm not going to draw it out ahead of time. I just prefer to just go for it. So we're going to just kind of do like a little curved line going up on different spots of this and just see how it looks. This is Deco Art. What color is this? Primary Red by Deco Art. I like True Red and Primary Red. Those are both great reds. They cover really well. I think this is going to be pretty cute when it's done, even though I'm not a huge fan of sloths. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know somebody who is, though. 
They're super trendy right now. Go figure. Kimberly says, my hands shake due to illness and I use a paint pen and I hold, or I can, but I've learned to accept my shaky hand. The, I love that you're able to like just work around it. You know, you everybody, um, you know, could find some, some sort of reason to not be able to do something if they wanted to. You've just got to have the attitude that nobody's going to stop me. I'm going to figure this out. You know, it doesn't matter if it takes me a long time. It doesn't matter if it takes me longer than someone else. I'm going to figure it out. Um, one example of that um, for myself was I was young and in love. <laughs> My husband had joined the Marine Corps, and we knew we wanted to get married but I had promised myself that I was going to finish college before I went off and got married and had a bunch of babies because I knew that, that was going to happen one of these days. And um, I talked to my college professor and I said, okay, I know this is supposed to take at least four years, sometimes four and a half years to get this degree. But what can I do to do it in a shorter amount of time? Because every semester that went by was another semester that he and I were apart because he was stationed in North Carolina and I was in Kentucky going to college classes and she looked at me and she said it's not going to be possible honey she said you'll be lucky if you get it done in four years it's not possible to do it in less than four and you know what that told me I dare you <laughs> in my mind that was somebody daring me to go do something that they thought I couldn't do and so I'm like okay I guess I might have to figure this out on my own and so, you know what I did? I got out a course schedule. I got out my program book that told me what I had to have accomplished in order to graduate. And I mapped it out. And it, I could, couldn't do it alone, though. If my mom is watching, she can testify to this. They helped pay for me to take summer classes so that I could graduate earlier. And I finished a bachelor's degree in three and a half years. I took at least... 15 hours a semester for three and a half years and in the summertime I took a full course load every summer just so I could graduate one semester early and go and go um, be with my well he was my husband when I made this plan though we weren't married yet we got married during um, Thanksgiving break I'm not liking this color <laughs> you know how you like you get started and then you're like this ain't working out I'm gonna mix and make kind of my own little color again um, but we got married during Thanksgiving break because he couldn't, uh, take off from, he couldn't take any like days of leave to come home. And so, um, we planned it. We got married on Black Friday. My mama, bless her heart. I decided I wanted to get married in July. We had the wedding on Black Friday in November and she pulled off a spectacular wedding for us. Um, we spent two nights together in Nashville, Tennessee on a, like a little honeymoon. And then he had to go back to North Carolina for his regular, regularly scheduled duty that he had to do. And so um, that was how we got married. And we went ahead and got married early because we were both broke. And we knew that if we went ahead and got married that he would start making a little bit extra money and we could pay off some debt. And of course, I was planning on graduating a year later and he was going to be deployed whether I was there or not. So even if I was able to move to North Carolina right after we got married, we wouldn't have been able to be together because he was going to be deployed. So, um, yeah, we spent the whole first year of our marriage apart. He was deployed and gone, and so we communicated. And back then, they we didn't have cell phones that were able to talk um, on all the time like we do now. We couldn't text and all of that, so we just wrote back and forth using email. And so it was, in some ways it was old-fashioned, but in some ways it wasn't. I feel really bad for people, you know, before the days of email when they had to actually send it through snail mail and wait for it to come in the mail because I could send it and then a couple of hours later I could get a response. It wasn't weeks later before I got a response. But it's still not even as easy it is as it is today where they can practically text back and forth. But <laughs> mom said, oh, thank you, sweetie. Yeah, if it wasn't for mom and dad, it would not have happened because they footed the bill for all of those summer classes and um, yeah. Which I guess if you think about it, like there was a whole semester there y'all didn't have to pay for because I graduated in three and a half years instead of four. 
<laughs> so you just paid for it differently. Because I think if you take a full course load of 12 hours, you pay the same, it, like it's the same cost whether you take 12 hours or 20 hours. And so really, I was just piling on. We were, we were um, it was a good investment. <laughs> well, I say it was a good investment. I'm not even using my degree right now, so not really. But I am teaching. I'm just not teaching elementary school students. I'm teaching grown-ups how to paint. But anyways, it was a wonderful learning experience. I feel like it helped me grow as a person. It taught me a lot about um, perseverance and doing something, even though somebody says it's not possible. I, I just kept thinking about what they said over and over. I'm like, she said it wasn't possible, but I'm going to prove it to her. And you know what? I never did go up to her and say, guess what? I did it anyway. And I probably should have because uh, maybe she would have learned that you can't tell somebody not to do something, you know, and expect them, like, to just give up, because I didn't. But anyways, that was a long story. I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs> Yay, Tammy got her leaf painted. That's awesome. I still don't like this color, so we're going to just paint over it again. Ooh, I like that color. Light mocha, apple barrel. That's the color I'm going to use for the light part of his face which it was probably gonna take two coats anyways, so it's all right, even though I've got a different color underneath. We're just gonna go over the top of it with the apple barrel. Light mocha. It wasn't light enough, the other color wasn't. And it was too yellowy looking. Don't worry, I can still see his little nose and his little mouth underneath. And if I'm missing anybody's comments, if you have questions, I promise, I will go back and look through those tonight or tomorrow whenever I get a chance and respond to anybody that I might have missed. I just went back through today and caught up on a lot of comments that I had missed the last couple of days. It takes a little while to go through all of those. But I do love reading them. If, if I'm ever feeling kind of bummed or anything like that, I can go through and read all of y'all's comments and it just picks me right back up. Where did you go to college? Murray State University here in Murray, Kentucky. That's my alma mater. As long as you prove to yourself. Yeah, that's true, Jennifer. I proved it to myself, and it's something that I often remind myself whenever I feel discouraged or like, you know, that, you know, when somebody says something's going to be really hard or difficult or not possible, I remind myself of that story. And I think, you know, I proved it to myself before. I can do it again. I'm going to paint his eyes now. Um, if you want to sprinkle the love on this video, I would so appreciate it. And comment, uh, say down below that you've done that. And somebody um, can get... Uh, one of these little sloth templates or sloth blanks in the Happy Mail, and if you're not um, if you're not a fan of sloths, maybe we can give you a little bit of uh, free templates or something instead. We'll work out something because I know this is kind of an odd one. Might, not everybody might want not want, but it's still cute. <laughs> His little mouth is precious. I love that I can still see the little etched lines underneath here. It makes painting um, these parts so much easier. Did anybody watch This Is Us this week or this month? Yeah, this week. I just finally watched it a little while ago. It was very different. We had some new characters come on this time. Thank you guys for sprinkling the love. Okay. I think now I'm going to go back and give my... Candy cane, just a little bit more red on a second coat because it's looking a little transparent in places. And then we're going to add just a little bit more to it to kind of bring everything alive. If you guys are wanting to sign up for Painters Clubhouse, be sure and say the word link and it will send it to your Facebook Messenger. Um, I also have in that link the link for the template, the little sloth template. Um, it's $5 and the link for the blank. Um, 
that comes in four different sizes. Our smallest size is ornament size, which is six inches, and then there's an eight inch, 12 inch, or 20, or 20 inch, and this that I'm painting right now is the 20 inch. And there's also a link in there for the Amazon affiliate shop, because people ask me for that quite often. Um, I've got like all of my favorite tools linked in there, like my jigsaw and um, the graphite paper that I use a lot is linked there. Um, I don't know, just some great tools. Like if you have a door hanger business, there's probably some tools in there that you would really benefit from using that you might not even know about. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a pointed brush and we're just gonna do some extra little candy cane lines. So this is just gonna be like a little Just a little something something mixture and we'll do the same with the white on top of the red do I have any, yeah where is my white paint here it is we'll do the same with the white that's looking really cute this is us was kind of confusing. It was, there were a lot of new characters, but at the end it kind of started to tie together and you started to see how the characters kind of connected. Um, thank you, Brandy. She said, I love watching your videos. You'll be buying the paint party supplies on Amazon Saturday. Yeah, they're awesome. There's lots of great um, resources in there. Okay, let's give him some little white dots in his eyes. And then um, we need to do some black accents and stuff. I'm going to switch brushes though. That one is kind of getting raggedy. The bristles aren't staying straight anymore. We'll just add just a little bit of black outline here. Here, say a lot of times that I make it look easy, but it's just because I've been doing it for so long. Um, there are things that begin to come easier to me the longer I've been doing it. So um, I highly encourage those of you who are wanting to become more comfortable with it. There's Clubhouse because. There really is no better place for you to grow and learn these skills than with a group of women like we have in the Painters Clubhouse. Um, and the skills and techniques that we teach in the club. Oh, hang on. I streaked some black in a weird place, and we don't. I don't like it, so I'm going to get some a baby wipe out. And before it dries, haha, -ha, it's all gone. Um, but the skills and techniques that we teach in the Painters Clubhouse. You can use them on any kind of door hanger. Even if you don't want to paint what we are painting that exact month, the things, the techniques that you're going to pick up on, you can use on a lot of different door hangers. So, for instance, um, the fall door hanger challenge that we just did, that wasn't necessarily a part of the Painters Clubhouse, but there was a lady in there who didn't even have time to paint the leaf because she had so many orders for pumpkins that she was going to complete. So what she did was she watched the leaf tutorial and she learned how to do some of the shading that we did on the leaf and she used those same techniques on her pumpkins. Look how cute he's looking. Okay, I may become a sloth fan after all, or at least a fan of this sloth. Um, but she used those same techniques to paint some pumpkins and it was really um, inspiring to see how she took something and didn't even really paint what we taught but she just took some nuggets from the video and applied them to a different door hanger and so you guys can do that too even if you're not like needing to paint whatever it is we're painting that month you can still watch the videos and glean lots of great tips from the videos that you can use to paint whatever you want um, and there's always plenty of inspiration to be found inside the clubhouse because somebody is always posting um, a picture of something they've made or pictures from a paint party. Um, one of the, my favorite things, and Erica's on here so she can attest to this, one of my favorite things is when Erica comes live inside the clubhouse after a paint party and gives us a paint party breakdown of how it went. 
And so it's kind of like a paint party diary of sorts. And I love hearing what she thought went well and what she thought didn't go well and what everybody at the party thought. And it's just, I don't know, it's just, it, it's very fascinating. I actually learn a lot just listening to uh, things like that inside the clubhouse. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a little highlight like on his little feet there. I don't want to do too much. Oh, I wanted to do some black around his face. I say him, him. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy sloth. I need some more black. The furniture pads work great for the door hanger. Oh, good, Debbie. You were you the one asking earlier today how to stop your door hanger from banging against the door against the door? See little little tips like that. You know, you'll pick that kind of stuff up all the time in the painter's clubhouse. I'm always learning something from my clubhouse girls. And you guys love my um, Friday Fab Five videos that I do. And a lot of the things that I share in a Friday Fab Five. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of the little good tips and things that I share in Friday Fab Five are things that I've learned from my painter's clubhouse ladies. And I'll come and like share little things like that with you guys. Um, because I love learning new little things like that. They kind of make life a little easier. Like for instance, for years, I never kept baby wipes in my craft room. I had no idea that it would make a quick little cleanup so much easier. So thank you to whoever showed me that. All right, I think it's all done. How cute is he? He's precious. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I don't even like sloths, but I do think he's adorable. A post-prep, <laughs> post-party prep talk, Erica says. Yes. And we've had people go live inside the clubhouse while they're making uh, bows for the door hangers and just talk, tell stories. It's just fun because it feels like a, like a, a community where we all um, understand each other. We all get each other. I don't know. It's just, it's a sisterhood. Somebody said that earlier today in one of the, um, one of the testimonials. And that's kind of the way it makes me feel. Your German Shepherd hates when your door hanger knocks on the door. <laughs> um, how do you keep the door hanger from banging? So Lisa, she asked that earlier today, and we recommended getting those little sticky furniture, like the, the little pads you put on the bottom of your like dining room chairs so they won't scratch your hardwood floors. And we recommended sticking those like on the bottom of the door hanger so that when it taps against the door, it's just felt hitting the door instead of wood. So... All right, well, I would love for you guys to join Painters Clubhouse. The, tomorrow is the last day, midnight Central Standard Time on Friday, September 28th, which is tomorrow. That is your last chance to join, and you won't have another chance until, sep until I started to say September. I'm so used to saying September 24th, until spring 2020. So um, we would love for you to join us. If you want to join, say the word link. It'll take you over to paintersclubhouse.com inside your Facebook Messenger and you can read all you all about it. Like it has a little uh, testimonial videos from our clubhouse members in there. And if you scroll to the very bottom, there are um, a frequently asked questions section. And I'm sure any little question you ask is going to be answered down there at the bottom. For instance, like I've had people ask, um, can we use the designs we learn in Painters Clubhouse to sell on Etsy or sell on Facebook or teach at paint parties? Yes, yes, and yes. I actually encourage you guys to sell things you make in the clubhouse because um, it, it'll help you pay for your painter's clubhouse dues. And so what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> um, Dollar Tree sells the belts over for circle 60 for a dollar. Score! Go to Dollar Tree. All right. Well, I'm going to hop off of here. If you guys have any questions, just go check out the Frequently Asked Questions page or comment down below and I will come and try to answer those as many as I can later tonight and tomorrow. I will be back on tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for Friday Fab Five, where I share five of my favorite things with you guys. And um, I can't wait to see you then. Bye, y'all.